Hi friends! I'm here to read you the story, Why Did the Whole World Stop? Talking with Kids About COVID-19 by Heather Black. What do you notice about all these boys and girls in the pictures? That's right, they all have a mask on. Good job. All right. Wow. It's amazing how fast the world changed in response to COVID-19. And here are some questions that I've been thinking about. Why is this such a big deal? What happened? When will things get back to normal? Should I be scared? When can I see my friends again? And what can I do to help? You might not even be sure what everybody is talking about. Learning more about COVID-19 can be useful. The Coronavirus Protection. This book can help you understand more about COVID-19 and even give you some ideas on how to use this unusual time for good things. All right, let's take a peek and see what else this book can tell us. How did the novel coronavirus COVID-19 get its name? Well, novel means new, coronavirus, a specific group of virus germs, CO, corona, which means crown because its virus looks a little bit like a crown when you look at it underneath the microscope. The I virus, it's a tiny particle that only multiples inside a living host like a person, animal, or plant. D means disease, something that makes people or animals sick. 19, named for the year 2019. This strain of the coronavirus in people was first reported to the World Health Organization on December 31st, 2019. So that's where the 19 comes from. Who decided that we should have to stay at home? When something major happens in the world, like a new disease that's contagious, leaders of countries and scientists work together to figure out the best way to protect all the people. Many things changed quickly in response to the outbreak of COVID-19. I bet some things changed for you. Some you like and some you probably don't. Schools closed. Ah, bummer. Teachers and students had to find a new way to keep learning. Like online classes and homework assignments. Playgrounds got closed. Germs can stay active for a while on surfaces. Like a ladder or a swing. Later they might pass to a new person who touches that object. So many public areas were off limits. How sad. Events were canceled. Any activity that required people to get together had to be either delayed or canceled. Restaurants delivered food at the door or to homes. Since businesses had to close, some businesses had to close temporarily. <gasps> Some people worked from home. <laughs> That's silly. He's got his beach shorts on. Their jobs might be done on a computer or a phone. Some people were out of work. Their jobs could only be done in contact with other people, so they couldn't go to work. Some people had to go to work even more than usual. That's like our healthcare workers. Especially those who worked in healthcare, like the doctors and nurses, might be busier than normal. And maybe even our grocery workers, too. So many things changed at once. It was a little bit confusing. People wore face masks and gloves when going out to be extra careful about germs. I wonder if you have a face mask. Maybe you can put it on and show me a picture. Some people worried they might run out of things they needed, so they bought extra. Kind of like that toilet paper shortage we have. They ran out of things like toilet paper and hand sanitizer and bread and milk and rice. And then people started ordering things online that they might usually get at the store. They did this so that way they didn't have to go inside any stores and leave the house. 
in some places, the government leaders told people they must be home by a certain time. That's called a curfew. Part of a police officer's job started to include making sure people had an important reason to be out. Otherwise, they weren't supposed to leave their houses. Nearly everyone around the world tried to practice social distancing. That's staying out of large groups, keeping space between yourself and others, or simply just staying home. How does the social distancing help the spread of COVID-19? Well, virus germs can't move by themselves. So if fewer people going out, it slows down the spread. If someone gets sick, it's easier to find out how they got sick. And it helps hospitals from having too many patients all at one time. How contagious is COVID-19? Just one sneeze achoo, can spread over 20,000 droplets containing virus particles. That's why it's so important to cover your face. What is a pandemic? Pan means all, endemic means people. A pandemic is when many people in different parts of the world catch the same disease. The World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic on March 11th in 2020. COVID-19 was first discovered in the city of Wuhan, China in December 2019. That may be far away from where you live, but many people travel to different parts of the world every day. In just a few weeks, there were outbreaks of the disease in nearly every country worldwide. Wow. How is COVID-19 different from other diseases? Well... Everyone gets sick sometimes, but our bodies have immune systems to help us fight the disease. Think of your immune system like a guard and the billions of viruses and bacteria particles around us like tiny travelers who want to come into your body. Bacteria and virus particles travel in and out of your bodies every single day. But why is it spreading so fast, you ask? Some bacteria and viruses are good for us, or at least not very harmful, and our immune system lets them in. It quickly attacks ones that knows it might make us sick. Because the COVID-19 virus hasn't made people sick before now, our immune system doesn't know whether the virus is, real, is good or bad, so it doesn't fight it right away, and we have no immunity towards this COVID-19. Is it possible to slow the spread? It is. We can do something called flattening the curve. Maybe you've heard that before. And that just means that we are trying to reduce the number of people that get sick. Dun, dun, dun. Is there a treatment for COVID-19? Researchers are working hard to make specific treatments and vaccines to fight the disease. And vaccines work by helping our immune systems identify a disease so it knows to attack those germs. What happens if you get COVID-19? Most people who catch COVID-19 don't even get very sick. They might feel bad with a fever and a cough for a little while, but their immune system is able to fight against the disease and win, and then they get better. But a few people can have COVID-19 and not even feel sick at all, even though they're still contagious. Hospitals can help. For some people, the COVID-19 disease becomes more serious and they have a hard time breathing. These people may need help with respirator in the hospital while their immune system fights the disease. Unfortunately, some pass away. Sadly, a few people are not able to recover from the disease and they die. This is, the, this is true of many other diseases too. But since COVID-19 is new and widespread, it's getting a lot of attention around the world. You might be wondering, is there anything that I can do to help? The answer is yes. 
you can respect social distancing. This helps protect everyone. You can wash your hands. Cleaning your hands keeps you healthy. You can pray for those who are sick, asking that they will recover soon and that the virus spread will end. Call someone who might be lonely. Get some exercise. It's important to stay active. Use your creativity. Make something new with your talents. Maybe you can draw a picture or create something on the computer. Maybe you can paint something. Whatever you want to try. Keep a Keep on learning. Even though you can't go into the school, you can still learn. And it's always great to learn something new. You can also help out your mom or your dad. Maybe you want to help cook dinner, wash the dishes. All those things are super helpful. Spending time with your family. That's something that you can do that's helpful. And you can look forward to the days when we can all get together again. Every day, things will get exciting and new. So thanks for learning with me about COVID-19. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.